What up, everybody? My name is Mark Galloway. Today is March 26, 2022. Uh, well, by the time this is uploaded, it'll be probably about a couple days later. But today, March 26, marks my birthday. I am now 25 years old. Another five years left, and I'll be the big 30. So today, oh, well, I woke up this morning with two envelopes in my room, and it was two checks for my Aunt Catherine and my Grandma Dee Dee. Well, her name's Patricia, but Dee Dee's what we call her. I'm sorry for the lack of lighting. We're just about to leave, but I'll stay in this part right here. But yeah, so I got two checks in the mail. Or, or no, it was two checks for my birthday that my mom handed over to me, but they were from my Aunt Catherine and my Grandma, Patricia, but we call Dee Dee, like I said. Thank you very much, and I love you. And um, those will probably be my only two Christmas gifts or birthday gifts, but I don't think it matters. So we're about to go to Pearl River Station, and we're heading to New York City for the day. There's a few things that I have planned on my mind. And after today, and then going into Sunday, I'll be going back on my healthy diet for the next 10 days or so, or probably before, maybe as much longer as possible. I've been eating a lot just so I can... I try to remind myself, hey, you know, you eat so much, you get full very fast. So, yes. So, going with me is my mom, my sister, and her friend. I think her name is Caitlin. It might be someone else. I could be wrong. But, yeah. I'm going to try not to get my mom so much on camera. She doesn't mind taking pictures. She doesn't like being on video. But, yes. So, we're going to head into New York City. It's actually my first time visiting the city since the pandemic. I haven't been in the city since like 2019 as far as I remember. So yeah, it's my first time in the city in a long time. We're going to go to Palm Free, Cheese Boat, uh, Joe's Pizza. That's a pizza parlor best known for being in Spider-Man 2 and probably a few other movies. But that pizza parlor is also known for many celebrities who visit there over the years. So yes, um, so let's go and celebrate. I have nothing else to say, but all I have to just do right now is just uh, finish getting ready. I got changed. I fixed my bed. Just getting my shoes on. Got to clean my glasses a little bit. So I'll see you at the station next time I see you. That's always very important. So we're now here at Pro River Station. Getting our tickets, waiting for the train. Uh, Mom and uh, Ashley, that's her name. Uh, they're parking the car and they'll meet us back over here. So, this is Pearl River Station. And uh, one apartment complex that me and Tyler have been looking into is like Mayfair, I believe, uh, up the street right there. Uh, that's my sister, by the way, Sarah. You probably know. So, she's just purchasing, purchasing the ticket. So. If we were to move in those apartment complexes right up the street, uh, we can just walk to the station if we have to. And we can also just walk to a few locations. But if we were to go to the supermarket right down the street, then we could, we have to take the car, basically. So yeah, Pervert Station. So although we're purchasing tickets, we're just waiting for the train. So yeah. The train is now coming. Okay guys, now we're in Hackensack on SX Street. So right by this McDonald's, right here. Right down the road, right where my fingers point, down there, is Canada Dry Filing Company. That's where I used to work for the summer back in like 2014 or 2015, I don't remember. But that's where, that's where my 
right. example. Right. Right. I'm gonna. I don't know if it's gonna be my hammer, but. I don't think so. Here, it sounds like to figure it out. Well, what's the deal? Okay. I mean, I have brought that up initially. Like, so I'm not gonna it's come it's with blocked you out. Like you can't see it passing the building because I'm not on that. But right go between go here is where I want to He's not. I think that's it right there. It's over there, guys. MetLife Stadium, our home stadium, and we have the American Dream right over there. I was also saying, but that's all, there's also what's left of the Island Center. A surreal location, for sure. Secaucus Station. City. And there right there guys is the Empire State Building. You can look right up at it. And there is an advertisement for Sonic the Hedgehog. So hey, Sonic no, I tried to get my family's attention. We're here in the city. We're, walk we're walking to the, don the Donut Palace, I believe it was, or Factory. I believe. Was it, is it donut? Is it donut factory or is it plant? Plant. Planet. Planet. Oh, like planet. welcome to pe welcome to Pizza Planet. <laughs> it's plant. Oh, like you said, you said plant. I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> welcome to Pizza Planet. Yeah, that's the that's the Toy Story line that I remember very well. But yeah, because like she literally just said planet, but yeah, it's plant. Yep, I just can't wrap my head around it because like it's going to a few different places. So yeah. Hey Sarah, would you, would you, would you, would you, would you like would you like to get some weed? Yeah, sure. Yeah, like this place is just selling stuff related to the plant weed, not the drug. I don't know. I don't think so. 
like I asked her first the first time off camera because like we were just walking by suddenly, but we're stopped in the middle of the road, so I just had to do it again for camera. But, thanks. So yeah, since uh, so since uh, Pizza Boat is um, up in since Pizza Boat's like up in Brooklyn or around yeah it's in Brooklyn. That's the only place where we're gonna be able to take a taxi. Most of the restaurants are like walking distance. Um, I hope you guys can hear me very well, but like most of the restaurants we're going to, uh, for most of the day are walking distance. So like after we go to Cheese Boat, the last place we're gonna go to is to get that cake. And um, my my memory is a little my memory's a little foggy on most places, but like uh, but but well, you'll see all around once as we go along. Look at the station. Yeah, look up there. That looks beautiful. We're here at Donut Planet. Not quite a lot of people, but it's still quite popular. Cannot wait to try something. Okay, so we're here doing the, uh, gonna try out the donuts from Donut uh, Plant. Donut Plant, that's it. I got it right. If I, there's one donut that I want to show you. This is the uh, mini donut. It has the uh, decorations of stars and this uh, blue carousel, something like that. It, it's supposed to commemorate the ceiling here in Grand Central, which is where we're at. So here, this is the first donut that I'm going to try. We're actually going to be splitting bites from different donuts. So right here, this is like basically the blueberry donut with uh, frosting. So this is the, um, the old, is this the ultimate berry or is it? Mixed berry? Mi mixed berry, something like that. But here, but here's the mixed berry. Mm. And Sarah just takes a bite. So they didn't give us napkins? I don't think so. Mm. It's like a blueberry donut. Yeah, basically blueberry donut. You don't really get so much of the frosting flavor. That's a little bit. That's a little unfortunate. What is the frosting supposed to be? I think uh, wild berry or something like that. I think that's what it was called. I'm gonna take this piece. All right. So this is the. Uh, it's a the, mini. The, the mini oh. donut. I forgot what the name was, but. It's the Grand Central Mini. Ah, right. That just tastes like Yeah. Okay, this is the um, the sourdough strawberry. This is the sourdough strawberry. You can see strawberry bits on it. I'm gonna let Sarah take a picture of this one. All right. Oh, that's great. <laughs> it's it's chewing, and you can get some flavor from the strawberry bits. I'm gonna take one more. That's very beautiful. All right, I'm now gonna see what Sarah thinks of this one. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> the best so far. That's the sourdough one. Yep, and, it, and it's chewy. Uh, careful, you're breaking. You're breaking the glaze. Yeah, just rip it off. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, you can get the you can get the flavor from the strawberry bits. Mm. Actually, you're really not gonna eat any of these. You need to try the strawberry one. Bite it. Yeah, just it doesn't cut. It's sourdough. Yeah, it's a sourdough. It's, yeah, it's pretty chewy. Is it? Yeah. Mmm. That's good. That's good. So the strawberry is by far the best, but we so still have a couple. Far. So, but we have a couple more to go. Okay, this is the coconut cream. Yes, yes, yes. 
So this donut kind of looks like a sugar-coated donut. This is kind of like a sugar-coated donut, but this is actually coconut bits or don't know what they are. I think it is coconut. It's coconut cream. Coconut cream. All right. Well, I'm, just, I'm not going to stall any longer. Here's the bite. <laughs> Wow. These reactions are great. That, that's, a, better than the that's, that's really that's really good. It really you can really taste the coconut cream inside. It gives me flashbacks when I'm having a coconut cream pie. Well, the shop right ones don't really do do well. Professional chefs, I want to try coconut cream pie that way, but I'm gonna take one more. It is pretty big, but like I do want to save enough for everyone. But I'm gonna take one more. This is just really good. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's really good. Oh, try not to let the ooze come out. Okay. Is your phone on me? It's Mark. Oh. Yeah, it's mine. Wow. <laughs> Very moist. I'm passing on that one. You're passing? Okay. Okay, go ahead, keep it. <laughs> keep it. <laughs> They're basically good in your always. I guess that's what matters. This is the best sourdough and this is the best stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, we except like they didn't have peanut butter, so right now we don't know if it's better than the other. But I would have to say peanut butter and jelly would be great in my opinion. Yeah, probably. And what's this? Is this uh Ooh, what is it? <laughs> oh, that's the date one. Okay. Yeah, all right. It's this... called like Merkel or all something. All right. All right, this one is, is pretty small, so I'm only gonna take one bite on this one. <laughs> But I do want to be sure to get enough flavor on it. You can see the crumbs, like all that. Okay. So that one's inspired by fruit and nut filled Middle Eastern cookies. Ah, okay. So it's sweet spiced date filling with a walnut glaze. That is pretty delicious. I, I will admit that, that is pretty good. All right, now Sarah's gonna take a turn. Make sure you get the middle. I know. Please. Did you ever consider going to Israel? Yeah. You know you can go for free. I'm sure you do. Yes. What do you think, Mom? Just really good. It's kind of like a coffee cake. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Like yeah. flavor. Mm -hmm. Nothing good. All right. Want another bite? Yeah, sure. Okay, so in my opinion, out of all the donuts we tried, I would have to say my favorite was the strawberry. Okay. And my second favorite was the uh, coconut. coconut. My least favorite was the wild berry because, like, you just mainly get that donut it's like, flavor. What about the mini? Yeah, you just don't the really get it. The mini was like a donut. The regular one. Yeah, you just don't really. I thought really... it was like a green tea one because it was green. Um. Oh, actually, I forgot. We had the mini donut. So that and the wild berry. Least favorite, you just don't really get the flavor from the frosting. But these two are, are really the best. Really special. Grand Central Terminal, right here, guys. And this place is legendary, it's beautiful. And there is the ceiling. And guys, this was in so many movies, and this has been in a couple Spider-Man games. Spider-Man, like when he jumped on one of the pillars, Shocker blasted it, and then it almost fell on the man. And this was in, even in Spider-Man 2018. This place has a lot of great memories and historic things that have happened throughout the years. Guys, this is just beautiful. Okay, our next stop is Joe's Pizza. You can see there's Grand Central Terminal right behind us. Behind us. Okay, next place we're going to is Joe's Pizza. Oh, and yep, it's a drizzling a little bit. Weather said it was supposed to be overcast for the most part. I guess as long as it doesn't really like rain so badly, we should be okay. But yeah, it is gonna probably drizzle for a little bit. Probably if we get out of the overcast area, if we get, if we have the chance to. But next up is Joe's Pizza. I mean, just hope things go according to plan. So we just stumbled upon the Union Square Green Market. So it's kind of like a little flea market.
outside of donuts, okay. Apple cider as well. car in the middle of the road. Oh, he just went all the way down there. Is he coming back? Oh, it... Alright, we're here at Joe's Pizza. This is one of the locations. There's quite a few, about well, one or two around. But, like I said, this pizza parlor was known for being in Spider-Man 2. Now, this wasn't the exact location, but it's the exact same pizza parlor that was in that movie. So, like... So, yeah, let's go inside and let's try their pizza. You see, guys? Joe's, P Joe's Pizza had, has had a good number of celebrities visit the restaurant over the years. You, and this is what I said. Spider-Man 2 featured this pizza parlor. Thank you. Okay, guys, so here's the pizza slice, cheese pizza. I did ask for about one, uh, actually two slices originally, but I was actually talking to Sarah about like what I wanted. But yeah, so I got one slice, but maybe we'll see if I need it. So, so here's the cheese slice. Here we go. Mm. That is pretty hot. That is pretty hot, I will admit that, but the crust is perfectly cooked. It It is pretty crispy. It does basically have the same taste as a typical New York pizza, so... But it, it that is... But it, but it is what makes these pizzas so amazing. That is pretty. That is pretty delicious. I will admit that. Nothing too special, but it just—it is a typical New York pizza. Really? Oh, you put spicy on here. Just a little bit. Ooh, I, I, I got some. Extra cheese. Mmm. Burnt to a crisp. <laughs> It is, it is pretty hot. I did feel it. I'm gonna get a little bit bites at a time, is what I learned. So there is extra cheese right here. So let's... Mm. That's pretty good. So Joe's Pizza, I'm basically gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Although I, although it is like basically like you would get like a typical New York pizza, it is still really good and they know how to get it cooked very well to the point where you don't have to worry about it like flopping around and such. Really great pizza. I highly recommend it. So, that right there, guys, is Kristen Dunst. Another shot of Toby Maguire right here. Okay. 
Pizza. That's the Joe's Pizza that was in the movie. It's Paul Rubens who played Pee Wee Herman. Bobby Flay. Yep, Joe's Pizza is definitely amazing. So now we're on our way to Palm Free. Joe's Pizza, I do give it a big thumbs up. It was amazing. Definitely come down and try it anywhere you can when you come in the city. It's very beautiful out right now. A little wet, but it's starting to get really sunny out. So we're on our way to Palm Free right now to try out their french fries. Well, I've been there once before, but I haven't had them in years. So that's our next stop. And then our next stop after that is uh, Cat's Deli. And then uh, I think that's when we go to the cheese boat next. But yeah, so, so far, day is overall going pretty good. There is the Washington Arch. Washington right here on this side. This is pretty cool. What a monument. Well, here we are at one of the parks. And that over there, guys, that is the One World Trade Center, the Freedom Tower. Imagine if the Twin Towers were still around. We're here, Thomas Fritz. Home free. Home free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't... I'm not really good at remembering how it's supposed to be pronounced. Alright. I tried the poutine homemade, but with the uh, Five Guys fries. I don't know. I know there was a sage. Pretty sweet. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. No, this is rosemary. Is that rosemary and sage? They were, I don't know what they got. I think, I know I heard cheddar and mm. barbecue. Teriyaki. Yeah, yeah. No pressure. Add a rosemary. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> nice. Nice. No. So we just left uh, Palm Free. The French fries were really good. Well, they were pretty good. Not so much salt though. The, the, the poutine was also pretty good. The cheese curds I was mainly going for with the fries. So got most of those taken care of. Uh, right now we're kind of a little full. We got cars in the background, typical New York. But yeah, so what we're going to do right now is that we're just going to relax for a little bit at the park and then burn off some steam just a little bit until we can go to Cat's Deli and then uh, Cheese Boat and then get some cake. So right now we're just relaxing, just want to ease ourselves a little bit. So yeah, that's pretty much the update right now. So we're taking one more stroll through the park. We chilled out here for a little bit. Sunny, thank God. Not not very hot, but it's in between. So we're going to Levain Bakery, and we're only gonna get like two cookies to go, and then after that we're gonna go to Cat's Deli, and we're gonna be sharing one sandwich basically. The rest of the plans will be discussed a little bit later, so we haven't really discussed a full plan yet. We do know that the cheese boat is 7 p.m. sharp. Are we going that way or? This way? Okay. It's, and then, yeah, and then the cheese boat, and hopefully we'll get some cake right after that or before then. Just want to be sure I get like a piece of cake before the day ends completely and before we go home. Cookies ready to go. So it's supposed to be really gooey on the inside. You can see how really big these these are. Yeah, I'm gonna give the uh, camera to Sarah. You ready? Look at that! Isn't that beautiful? All right, here we go. It melts in your mouth. You can definitely feel the warmth and messiness of this chocolate. It's very sweet and delicious. This part right here has walnuts. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna swallow this real quick and I'm gonna take one more bite. This is really sweet. You can definitely taste the chocolate. Not as gooey as I imaged it, but it's really good. Sarah just took a bite. What do you think? The outside. Oh yeah, crispy. Very crispy, but the middle is super gooey. That, this is what makes these cookies unique. Alright, we're gonna finish this and we have one more to try before we have it. Last cookie, this is the oatmeal raisin. It's not as warm as the other one. We left this one cooling. But let's see what the oatmeal raisin is like. Okay, yeah. Not as gooey because it did cool down. But let's see what the oatmeal raisin is like. Or I think the main difference between this one and the chocolate chip was that the chocolate needed to be melted. So this one was baked, that one was baked a little bit more. But overall, oh, it does taste like a typical oatmeal raisin cookie. Although it, it's more like raw dough, kind of like medium cooked. But it is, it is all right nonetheless. Let's see your character. That one's so, the other one's better definitely because of the, the chocolate. Oh yeah, the, the chocolate chip is definitely... Make it extra gooey. Yeah, chocolate chip is also a win-win for me because that's how it's supposed to be defined. Alright, so we're just going to chill out a little bit more and I'll catch you guys a little bit later. <laughs> this is the cake I decided on. It has raspberry filling. Okay. It's an almond base. Is that all? Yeah, and a fork. That's all. Okay, I just wanted to make sure he is. Stir me, Chai. Anything else? So I decided on the strawberry shortcake cake slice because I do like strawberry shortcake ice cream and never really tried it in cake form before. There was also a couple of other great cupcakes that seemed so delicious like cookies and cream and stuff like that. But um, I'm already a bit over steamed right now from the food. But we are still going to um, Cat's Deli and the Cheese Boat later. Oh. By the way, look guys, we're taking, taking a look at some mini shops around here down the brick wall. Nice, 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 nice rings. Just this block here. Is there with the old coins? Sure. These are nice too. Oh, they're all Nice. 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 That's Nice. That's Nice. 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 That's very cute. And it's camo. What kind of rice pudding is this? Panna cotta. Panna cotta butterscotch? It's like a custard. I'm usually used to the uh, regular rice pudding, not kind of different flavors. Mmm! It's good. It is really sweet. It does. That spoon it tastes. Fun. It does taste a lot, very close to vanilla bean. Mm hmm. What's the name of this place? Riches to Rice. Rice to Riches, one or the other. Is it Rice to Riches? Rice to Riches. Right. But if you like rice pudding, please come to 
rice to riches. It is very sweet, very delicious. So much food. I get something. Okay, guys. Don't know if you can hear me. We're here at Cat's Deli, and we're gonna try their Cat's signature sandwiches. They're kind of like like this big. I don't know. Kind of like this big. This, so this is also the place where Harry yeah. met Sally. I feel like we should, if we're where Harry met Sally. Things, right? I'm just repeating myself a little bit because I just don't know if you can hear me. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> My first actual bite of the pastrami sandwich. Let's see what this is like. Wow, that's that's really good. The mayo, the rye bread, <laughs> it is pretty tasty. Um, oh yeah, I gotta try it with mustard. That's pretty good too. It is a little, gre it's a little greasy, but it's still it's still pretty good. If you guys haven't been to da uh, Cat's Deli yet. Please come down here. Oh, even though it can get busy at times. Okay, we just took an Uber to the air tram. We're on our way to Annie's uh, apartment. We're, we're about to ride on the air tram for the first time. This one was in the Spider-Man 2002 movie, known from when the Green Goblin blew it up and he held on to it. So, yeah, I can't wait to see how it goes. Starting to swing. So we got off the we got off the air tram. That is Annie's dog Tulip. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Which school is this? Sierra Canyon. Ah, okay, that does sound familiar. Yeah. Okay. Okay. My mom taught Jordan Sparks. Oh. And her dad was played for the Giants. Oh. Where did yeah. she teach her? I think it was when she was like a student teacher somewhere in New Jersey. Okay. Um, um, but yeah, the class that she was in. Jordan. 
It's a bit cramped back here. <laughs> a little bit. Do you want to put your legs sideways? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I mean, that's, that would be the best I can yeah. do. <laughs> There's Annie. Hello. <laughs> yeah, Annie's been a in a couple of my videos in the past, like on my creative channel. Wow. Yeah, so she's now living here in New York City, doing her job, living her life. So what's, so what's it like living what's it like living in the city? It's awesome. There's lots of parks around here. Yeah. It's fun to walk around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we, you guys saw Tulip earlier. She's pretty cute. <laughs> nice dog. A little shy though. Yeah, so we're on our way to try cheese boat right now. It's kind of like a bread that they kind of like make into a bowl and then they put cheese in the middle. Mm. So it's kind of it's kind of like a mix of a pizza of some sorts, but personally I never try it, but I'm I'm really excited to try it. So that's the last thing I'm going to do tonight before I head back home. So we'll, go, we'll see you guys at the restaurant. My friend's a teacher from South Carolina, and it's her spring break. So she's like, it's like, my week, if you guys want to go, so we did it. Everything was booked up, so we ran the cafe. Over there. Thank you. Oh, you got one on the roundwood block, yep. The lighting is a little bit bad here, so, so we're gonna try the cheese boat. I got it mixed up, so here's some cheese. Oh, see, he's doing it. Oh, there's a little bit dripping here. It tastes like curry. Wow. Pretty good. The butter? And the egg mixture gives it such a neat, a pretty good flavor. Okay guys, um, camera just died, so I'm on my iPhone, but there will only be one or two clips. So we just left Cheese Boat. The one thing I was, uh, I was gonna say right before the camera died was that um, there was also a dip that was like made from like garlic with some other ingredients added, but like it just, it tasted weird, so I didn't like the dip, but the cheese boat was delicious. So we just we said our goodbyes to Sarah, Annie, and everyone else, and uh, we're back here at Penn Station, just getting on the train, get ready to go back home, and I'll catch you guys up when I get back home. Hey guys, I'm back home. I'm very sorry that I didn't get a lot of footage while I was on the trip. Camera was dying, like... Even my phone was dying. Like, I thought I was being careful not to waste their batteries. I was even trying to make sure that they had a good amount of battery fluid, battery juice, whatever you call it. But even if, though I was trying to be as careful as possible, the batteries were still being drained as possible, very, like, very quick. So I couldn't get a lot of footage. Also, when Annie, Ashley, Sarah, and Mom were talking, like, I wanted to get some, I wanted to, like, do some, uh, like, vlogging like around like aside from doing like food stuff but like you know they were having a good time catching up and stuff like that and they, like you know that included me and even when we were we were in the apartment like you know I was getting like so so tired to the point like I just didn't feel like I could like vlog or anything anymore and um I didn't want to intervene with the conversations and plus like I said the camera and the phone and the phone were dying so I didn't want to bring a lot of energy, didn't want to bring more power to them to the point where they would just die. And uh, when I was like showing you or telling you how the cheese boat thing worked or what it was like when you eat it and what else was being used, like I was actually about to talk about the dip. The dip actually tasted like garlic, but there's like something in it that gives it like a weird taste. So... But right around then, the camera died. So that was a fail. So then after that, uh, we said our goodbyes to Annie, Sarah, and Ashley. They are, they're actually still in the city to uh, go see a show and then stay overnight over there with Annie. And then we, me and my mom, we went back to the station, got on a train, and then we got on a train and then went back home. And uh, that's, that's where we are right now. Anyways, guys, that was actually my 26th bir uh, 25th birthday. We spent the day in the city and uh, just uh, had some fun while we made, while we did. Um, 
Now, guys, the vlogs will improve over time. If you want to have a vlog where I'm just, like, you know, exploring, you know, what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis, kind of like when I did when I was in, uh, when I was at WeebCon, then, like, I will certainly do my best. But just let me know if you still want to include food in the vlogs or not. That's just up to you. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go eat some cake, and then we're going to wrap up the vlog here. As you see right here, guys, this is the strawberry shortcake. And this is from the, uh, the little cupcake bake shop. And this looks very good. This is actually inspired by the ice cream, ice cream bar. So let's give this a taste. Okay. Here we go, first bite. Hmm. Not so bad. Not not bad. It does taste very much like strawberry shortcake. Except it just um <clears throat> you got the cake batter instead of just, you know, all coming from an ice cream bar. It did dry up a little bit because, like, you know, we bought it earlier in the city, fresh, and, it, you know, it's a couple hours later. But at the same time, though, it's not bad. But anyways, guys, that was my 25th birthday. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog while it came out the way it did. Just let me know how you want my vlogs to improve if you feel like there's still some flaws to them. Thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.